Hello, it's P for Unicorn 3, and I have been wanting to do a video on my school. Um, it is 10.59, so guess which one we're going to do. Yes, ELA. No. Sorry, you went on my chest. <laughs> ELA, no. So, I've been wanting to do a video of me uh, doing my school. Um... Yeah, so it's how I am in a talk. I will be back when I get this school in class. So, uh, this is my school. Um, I guess we'll wait for that minute and I'll get my audio set up wizard. And, um, yeah, be back. You've done your audio setup wizard. That would be awesome. School. Let's see, I'm waiting on Sarah, but I know that she just got in here. Um. Oh, awesome, Christian! You got your headset. That's great. So I hope you did your audio setup wizard to see um, if it works. I know several people have told me that um, they got microphones and stuff this week. So that's awesome. All right, we have a fun lesson plan today. So I I hope you enjoy yeah. it. Don't go missing in action. If you're here, you are participating. Make sure you've done your audio setup wizard. Think before you chat. You guys are pretty good at that, though. Um, we're going to do our spiral review, and then we'll do our reteach. Today, we're going to talk about tone and mood. Um, let's see, I have got everyone's microphone turned on, so who can grab their microphone the fastest and repeat it Thursday for me? Dang it. Today I will review pronoun shifts and mood tone. Great, we're going to talk about pronoun shifts, mood, and tone. All right, so remember, just a reminder, a pronoun shift is when, um, like if I say, um, Christian got a new dog today. They were pretty excited. Okay, Christian is one person. I shouldn't be using they. Okay, so that's what you're going to do here and then rewrite it. Um, inedible, the possessive noun, so the home of the Smith, the home that belongs to the Smith. How would you re rewrite it with a possessive? Remember, possessives usually have apostrophe. Identify this sentence type, and then circle the definition that matches the way the word is used in the sentence below. Remember, all of these are correct definitions of challenge. We have to use the context that, that it is used in the sentence. Okay, I think I've set you up for success, but remember we also celebrate fantastic failures. So here we go. Okay, so um we gotta do that, and I will be back when um, this is over. A question. So we can have time for our entire lesson today. So circle the correct, incorrect pronoun shift. Rewrite the sentence correctly. My friends and I went to the museum where they saw the modern art exhibit. What is the in incorrect pronoun? Type it in the chat. They, absolutely. What should it be? Yes, oh my gosh, yes. It should be we because it's my friends and I. So if I say my friends and I went to the museum where they saw the modern art exhibit, 
That means that I didn't see it. That's my friend. My friends and I went to the museum where we saw the modern art exhibit. Okay, prefix in ed as all. What does that mean? Type it in the chat. If I say, oh, that was inedible, what does that mean? Yep, can't eat it. <laughs> Teacher on it. Yep. Okay, I saw several mistakes here. And some of you, um, they were good mistakes because you were trying. Um, the home of the Smith, you wrote the home that belongs to the Smith.